Fatty acid synthesis is the creation of fatty acids from acetyl-CoA and NADPH through the action of enzymes called fatty acid synthases. This process takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Most of the acetyl-CoA which is converted into fatty acids is derived from carbohydrates via the glycolytic pathway. The glycolytic pathway also provides the glycerol with which three fatty acids can combine by means of ester bonds to form triglycerides also known as triacylglycerols to distinguish them from fatty acids or simply as fat the final product of the lipogenic process when only two fatty acids combine with glycerol and the third alcohol group is phosphorylated with a group such as phosphatidylcholine, a phospholipid is formed. Phospholipids form the bulk of the lipid bilayers that make up cell membranes and surround the organelles within the cells e.g. the cell nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus etc. Topic: Straight chain fatty acids. Straight chain fatty acids occur in two types: saturated and unsaturated. Topic: Saturated straight chain fatty acids. Much like beta oxidation, straight chain fatty acid synthesis occurs via the six recurring reactions shown below. Until the 16 carbon palmitic acid is produced, the diagrams presented show how fatty acids are synthesized in microorganisms and list the enzymes found in Escherichia coli. These reactions are performed by fatty acid synthase II which in general contain multiple enzymes that act as one complex. FASII is present in prokaryotes, plants, fungi, and parasites, as well as in mitochondria, in animals, as well as some fungi such as yeast. These same reactions occur on fatty acid synthase I, FASI, a large dimeric protein that has all of the enzymatic activities required to create a fatty acid. FASI is less efficient than FASII, however, it allows for the formation of more molecules, including medium chain fatty acids via early chain termination. Once a 16 to 0 carbon fatty acid has been formed, it can undergo a number of modifications, resulting in desaturation and/or elongation. Elongation, starting with stearate 18 to 0, is performed mainly in the ER by several membrane-bound enzymes. The enzymatic steps involved in the elongation process are principally the same as those carried out by FAS, but the four principal successive steps of the elongation are performed by individual proteins, which may be physically associated. Note that during fatty synthesis the reducing agent is NADPH, whereas NAD is the oxidizing agent in beta-oxidation the breakdown of fatty acids to acetyl-CoA. This difference exemplifies a general principle that NADPH is consumed during biosynthetic reactions, whereas NADH is generated in energy-yielding reactions. Thus NADPH is also required for the synthesis of cholesterol from acetyl-CoA, while NADH is generated during glycolysis, the source of the NADPH is two-fold. When malate is oxidatively decarboxylated by NADP plus linked malic enzyme, to form pyruvate, CO2 and NADPH are formed. NADPH is also formed by the pentose phosphate pathway which converts glucose into ribose, which can be used in synthesis of nucleotides and nucleic acids, or it can be catabolized to pyruvate. <laughs> Glycolytic end products are used in the conversion of carbohydrates into fatty acids. 
In humans, fatty acids are formed from carbohydrates predominantly in the liver and adipose tissue, as well as in the mammary glands during lactation. The pyruvate produced by glycolysis is an important intermediary in the conversion of carbohydrates into fatty acids and cholesterol. This occurs via the conversion of pyruvate into acetyl-CoA in the mitochondrion. However, this acetyl-CoA needs to be transported into cytosol where the synthesis of fatty acids and cholesterol occurs. This cannot occur directly. To obtain cytosolic acetyl-CoA, citrate produced by the condensation of acetyl-CoA with oxaloacetate is removed from the citric acid cycle and carried across the inner mitochondrial membrane into the cytosol. There it is cleaved by ATP citrate lyase into acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. The oxaloacetate can be used for gluconeogenesis in the liver, or it can be returned into mitochondrion as malate. The cytosolic acetyl-CoA is carboxylated by acetyl-CoA carboxylase into malonyl-CoA, the first committed step in the synthesis of fatty acids. Animals cannot resynthesize carbohydrates from fatty acids The main fuel stored in the bodies of animals is fat. The young adult humans' fat stores average between about 10 to 20 kg, but varies greatly depending on age, gender, and individual disposition. By contrast the human body stores only about 400 grams of glycogen, of which 300 grams is locked inside the skeletal muscles and is unavailable to the body as a whole. The 100 grams or so of glycogen stored in the liver is depleted within one day of starvation. Thereafter the glucose that is released into the blood by the liver for general use by the body tissues, has to be synthesized from the glucogenic amino acids and a few other gluconeogenic substrates, which do not include fatty acids. Fatty acids are broken down to acetyl-CoA by means of beta-oxidation inside the mitochondria, whereas fatty acids are synthesized from acetyl-CoA outside the mitochondrion, in the cytosol. The two pathways are distinct, not only in where they occur, but also in the reactions that occur, and the substrates that are used. The two pathways are mutually inhibitory, preventing the acetyl-CoA produced by beta-oxidation from entering the synthetic pathway via the acetyl-CoA carboxylase reaction. It can also not be converted to pyruvate as the pyruvate decarboxylation reaction is irreversible. Instead it condenses with oxaloacetate, to enter the citric acid cycle. During each turn of the cycle, two carbon atoms leave the cycle as CO2 in the decarboxylation reactions catalyzed by isocitrate dehydrogenase and alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Thus each turn of the citric acid cycle oxidizes an acetyl-CoA unit while regenerating the oxaloacetate molecule with which the acetyl-CoA had originally combined to form citric acid. The decarboxylation reactions occur before malate is formed in the cycle. This is the only substance that can be removed from the mitochondrion to enter the gluconeogenic pathway to form glucose or glycogen in the liver or any other tissue. There can therefore be no net conversion of fatty acids into glucose. Only plants possess the enzymes to convert acetyl-CoA into oxaloacetate from which malate can be formed to ultimately be converted to glucose. Regulation. Acetyl-CoA is formed into malonyl-CoA by acetyl-CoA carboxylase, at which point malonyl-CoA is destined to feed into the fatty acid synthesis pathway. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase is the point of regulation in saturated straight-chain fatty acid synthesis, and is subject to both phosphorylation and allosteric regulation. 
Regulation by phosphorylation occurs mostly in mammals, while allosteric regulation occurs in most organisms. Allosteric control occurs as feedback inhibition by palmitoyl CoA and activation by citrate. When there are high levels of palmitoyl CoA, the final product of saturated fatty acid synthesis, it allosterically inactivates acetyl CoA carboxylase to prevent a buildup of fatty acids in cells. Citrate acts to activate acetyl CoA carboxylase under high levels, because high levels indicate that there is enough acetyl CoA to feed into the Krebs cycle and conserve energy. High plasma levels of insulin in the blood plasma, e.g., after meals, cause the dephosphorylation of acetyl CoA carboxylase, thus promoting the formation of malonyl CoA from acetyl CoA, and consequently the conversion of carbohydrates into fatty acids. Acids, while epinephrine and glucagon released into the blood during starvation and exercise cause the phosphorylation of this enzyme, inhibiting lipogenesis in favor of fatty acid oxidation via beta oxidation. Topic: <laughs> Anaerobic desaturation. Many bacteria use the anaerobic pathway for synthesizing unsaturated fatty acids. This pathway does not utilize oxygen and is dependent on enzymes to insert the double bond before elongation utilizing the normal fatty acid synthesis machinery. In Escherichia coli, this pathway is well understood. Faba is a beta hydroxydecanoyl ACP dehydrase, it is specific for the 10 carbon saturated fatty acid synthesis intermediate beta hydroxydecanoyl ACP. Faba catalyzes the dehydration of beta hydroxydecanoyl ACP, causing the release of water and insertion of the double bond between C7 and C8, counting from the methyl end. This creates the trans 2 decenoyl intermediate. Either the trans 2 decenoyl intermediate can be shunted to the normal saturated fatty acid synthesis pathway by FAB, where the double bond will be hydrolyzed and the final product will be a saturated fatty acid, or FABA will catalyze the isomerization into the cis 3 decenoyl intermediate. FAB is a beta ketoacyl ACP synthase that elongates and channels intermediates into the mainstream fatty acid synthesis pathway. When FAB reacts with the cis decenoyl intermediate, the final product after elongation will be an unsaturated fatty acid. The two main unsaturated fatty acids made are palmitoyl ACP 16 omega 7 and cis vaccinoyl ACP 18 omega 7. Most bacteria that undergo anaerobic desaturation contain homologs of FABA and FAB. Clostridia are the main exception, they have a novel enzyme, yet to be identified, that catalyzes the formation of the cis double bond. Regulation This pathway undergoes transcriptional regulation by FADR and FABR. FADR is the more extensively studied protein and has been attributed bifunctional characteristics. It acts as an activator of FABA and FAB transcription and as a repressor for the beta oxidation regulon. In contrast, FABR acts as a repressor for the transcription of FABA and FAB. Topic: <laughs> Aerobic desaturation. Aerobic desaturation is the most widespread pathway for the synthesis of unsaturated fatty acids. It is utilized in all eukaryotes and some prokaryotes. This pathway utilizes desaturases to synthesize unsaturated fatty acids from full-length saturated fatty acid substrates. All desaturases require oxygen and ultimately consume NADH even though desaturation is an oxidative process. Desaturases are specific for the double bond they induce in the substrate. 
In Bacillus subtilis, the desaturase, delta-5 day, is specific for inducing a cis double bond at the delta-5 position. Saccharomyces cerevisiae contains one desaturase, OL1P, which induces the cis double bond at delta 9. In mammals, the aerobic desaturation is catalyzed by a complex of three membrane bound enzymes NADH cytochrome B5 reductase, cytochrome B5, and a desaturase. These enzymes allow molecular oxygen, O2, to interact with the saturated fatty acyl CoA chain, forming a double bond and two molecules of water, H2O. Two electrons come from NADH plus H plus and two from the single bond in the fatty acid chain. These mammalian enzymes are, however, incapable of introducing double bonds at carbon atoms beyond C9 in the fatty acid chain, hence mammals cannot synthesize linoleate or linolenate which have double bonds at the C12 equals delta 12, or the C12 and C15 equals delta 12 and delta 15 positions, respectively, as well as at the delta 9 position, nor the polyunsaturated 20 carbon arachidonic acid that is derived from linoleate. These are all termed essential fatty acids, meaning that they are required by the organism, but can only be supplied via the diet. Arachidonic acid is the precursor the prostaglandins, which fulfill a wide variety of functions as local hormones, regulation. In B. subtilis, this pathway is regulated by a two-component system, DESC and DESR. DESC is a membrane-associated kinase and DESR is a transcriptional regulator of the day gene. The regulation responds to temperature, when there is a drop in temperature, this gene is upregulated. Unsaturated fatty acids increase the fluidity of the membrane and stabilize it under lower temperatures. DESC is the sensor protein that, when there is a decrease in temperature, will autophosphorylate. DESC P will transfer its phosphoryl group to DESR. Two DESR P proteins will dimerize and bind to the DNA promoters of the day gene and recruit RNA polymerase to begin transcription. Pseudomonas aeruginosa. In general, both anaerobic and aerobic unsaturated fatty acid synthesis will not occur within the same system, however, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Vibrio Abe 1 are exceptions. While P. aeruginosa undergoes primarily anaerobic desaturation, it also undergoes two aerobic pathways. One pathway utilizes a delta-9 desaturase that catalyzes a double bond formation in membrane lipids. Another pathway uses two proteins, DESC and DESB, together to act as a delta-9 desaturase, which inserts a double bond into a saturated fatty acid CoA molecule. This second pathway is regulated by repressor protein DEST. DEST is also a repressor of FABOB expression for anaerobic desaturation when in presence of exogenous unsaturated fatty acids. This functions to coordinate the expression of the two pathways within the organism. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Branched chain fatty acids. Branched chain fatty acids are usually saturated and are found in two distinct families, the iso series and antiso series. It has been found that actinomycetales contain unique branch chain fatty acid synthesis mechanisms, including that which forms tuberculosteric acid. <laughs> <laughs> branch chain fatty acid synthesizing system The branched chain fatty acid synthesizing system uses alpha keto acids as primers. This system is distinct from the branched chain fatty acid synthetase that utilizes short chain acyl CoA esters as primers. 
Alpha keto acid primers are derived from the transamination and decarboxylation of valine, leucine, and isoleucine to form 2 methylpropanyl CoA, 3 methylbutyryl CoA, and 2 methylbutyryl CoA, respectively. 2 methylpropanyl CoA primers derived from valine are elongated to produce even numbered iso series fatty acids such as 14 methyl pentadecanoic isopalmitic acid, and 3 methylbutyryl CoA primers from leucine may be used to form odd numbered iso series fatty acids such as 13 methyl tetradecanoic acid. 2-methylbutyryl-CoA primers from isoleucine are elongated to form antiso-series fatty acids containing an odd number of carbon atoms such as 12-methyl-tetradecanoic acid. Decarboxylation of the primer precursors occurs through the branched chain alpha-keto acid decarboxylase BCKA enzyme. Elongation of the fatty acid follows the same biosynthetic pathway in Escherichia coli used to produce straight-chain fatty acids where malonyl-CoA is used as a chain extender. The major end products are 12–17 carbon branched chain fatty acids and their composition tends to be uniform and characteristic for many bacterial species, BCKA decarboxylase and relative activities of alpha-keto acid substrates. The BCKA decarboxylase enzyme is composed of two subunits in a tetrameric structure A2B2 and is essential for the synthesis of branched chain fatty acids. It is responsible for the decarboxylation of alpha keto acids formed by the transamination of valine, leucine, and isoleucine and produces the primers used for branched chain fatty acid synthesis. The activity of this enzyme is much higher with branched chain alpha keto acid substrates than with straight chain substrates, and in Bacillus species its specificity is highest for the isoleucine derived alpha keto beta methylvaleric acid, followed by alpha ketoisocaproate and alpha ketoisovalerate. The enzyme's high affinity toward branched chain alpha keto acids allows it to function as the primer donating system for branched chain fatty acid synthetase. Factors affecting chain length and pattern distribution Alpha keto acid primers are used to produce branched chain fatty acids that, in general, are between 12 and 17 carbons in length. The proportions of these branched chain fatty acids tend to be uniform and consistent among a particular bacterial species but may be altered due to changes in malonyl CoA concentration, temperature, or heat stable factors HSF present. All of these factors may affect chain length, and HSFs have been demonstrated to alter the specificity of BCKA decarboxylase for a particular alpha keto acid substrate, thus shifting the ratio of branched chain fatty acids produced. An increase in malonyl CoA concentration has been shown to result in a larger proportion of C17 fatty acids produced, up until the optimal concentration approximately equals 20 μm of malonyl CoA is reached. Decreased temperatures also tend to shift the fatty acid distribution slightly toward C17 fatty acids in Bacillus species. Branch chain fatty acid synthase This system functions similarly to the branch chain fatty acid synthesizing system, however it uses short chain carboxylic acids as primers instead of alpha keto acids. In general, this method is used by bacteria that do not have the ability to perform the branch chain fatty acid system using alpha keto primers. Typical short chain primers include isovalerate, isobutyrate, and 2 methylbutyrate. In general, the acids needed for these primers are taken up from the environment, this is often seen in ruminal bacteria. The overall reaction is 
isobutyryl CoA plus 6 malonyl CoA plus 1 2 NADPH plus 12 H plus isopalmitic acid plus 6 Colorado 2 12 NADP plus 5 H 2 O plus 7 CO The difference between straight chain fatty acid synthase and branch chain fatty acid synthase is substrate specificity of the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction of acyl CoA to acyl ACP. Topic: <inaudible> Omega alicyclic fatty acids. Omega alicyclic fatty acids typically contain an omega terminal propyl or butyryl cyclic group and are some of the major membrane fatty acids found in several species of bacteria. The fatty acid synthetase used to produce omega alicyclic fatty acids is also used to produce membrane branched chain fatty acids. In bacteria with membranes composed mainly of omega alicyclic fatty acids, the supply of cyclic carboxylic acid CoA esters is much greater than that of branched chain primers. The synthesis of cyclic primers is not well understood but it has been suggested that mechanism involves the conversion of sugars to shikimich acid which is then converted to cyclohexyl carboxylic acid CoA esters that serve as primers for omega alicyclic fatty acid synthesis. Tuberculostearic acid synthesis Tuberculostearic acid D10-methylstearic acid is a saturated fatty acid that is known to be produced by Mycobacterium spp and two species of Streptomyces. It is formed from the precursor oleic acid, a monounsaturated fatty acid. After oleic acid is esterified to a phospholipid, s adenosyl methionine donates a methyl group to the double bond of oleic acid. This methylation reaction forms the intermediate 10 methylene octadecanoil. Successive reduction of the residue, with NADPH as a cofactor, results in 10 methylstearic acid. See also Fatty acid, Essential fatty acid Fatty acid metabolism Fatty acid synthase Footnote